everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. If you're new here, then hi, I'm Jodie, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. So I just thought I'd do like a little daily vlog today. I've actually put some makeup on. I say that in every video. I've not actually uploaded in like over a week, so I'm going to actually film another video today. I've put a poll on Instagram to see if people want me to go to the range or B&M. We need like a couple of like essential bits so I can get them from either B&M or the range. So I'm hoping for the range because I do want to go and have a look at some of like the bedside tables and stuff in there as well. So. We'll see how that's going. It's actually 50 50 at the minute. I had a look a minute ago, so I hope you liked my little morning routine intro. And actually, I love you as my new intro as well that my uncle made me. He's a graphic designer, but um, he's been like training himself to do like intros and like animation and things like that. God, my hair looks real frizzy in the light. I've actually straightened it. The first time I straightened it this style, let me know if you like my intro. I just need to change the photo because the photo is like a really old one. I'm like really slim on there, like really long blonde hair. So I need to get like an updated photo with this hairstyle. So let me know what you think to that. And yeah, I hope you liked my little morning routine. I didn't know whether to like create a video of like a full morning routine or a full like night routine, but I decided to just go with like a daily vlog today, show you my, a bit of my morning routine and a bit of like my nighttime routine. I'm going to get a nice like bubble bath tonight. Gary's got like a quiz thing on Zoom with his friends later, so... That'll give me some time to just chill in the bath. And I've got tons of bath bombs to use, so I'm gonna use a nice bath bomb tonight. Yeah, we've not got much planned today. Gary's still at work. He leaves early on a Friday, so he's leaving at two o'clock. So we'll, I was gonna say we'll go to the range, but it might end up being B&M if the Instagram poll goes that way. But I'm gonna go for a walk, like a social distance walk with my brother Sue. And I think he's coming in about half an hour. What time is it now? Yeah, it's coming in about half an hour, so we're going to go for a social distance walk. But the weather's so nice today. Like, I already planned to film anyway. Like, do you see the sun? Wow. But yeah, it's a really nice day today. I don't know if you can see how bright it is. I'll turn the camera around. I actually filmed a bit of the sun as well, actually, for my intro, so you'll have seen how sunny it was. And that was only at 10 o'clock. It's actually dinner time, but I'm not really hungry for anything. I had Weetabix at about, it was 10 o'clock. I woke up at about half past eight, but I didn't eat till about 10 o'clock. I'll probably just save myself a tea later. I'm doing a Thai green curry, actually. I showed it in one of my videos as my meal plan, but I didn't actually end up doing it because we forgot to take chicken out to defrost overnight. So we're going to do that tonight. I feel like that's like a weekend meal, like a curry or like something like that. So it's Friday, so I'm going to do that tonight. But yeah, even though I'd already planned to film, I'm so glad the weather's like this. It just makes you miles more like motivated. I feel like it just like gives you a bit of a pick up. And I was watching them. Um, I don't know if you saw at the beginning of the video, I was watching the Night Strada and he lives in Tenerife. And all these videos are like just so like feel good videos like just seeing like the sun and the waves and like they go out for food and stuff because the pandemic isn't as bad there the restrictions aren't as bad as here so they can still like go out for food and stuff and they like do lives and stuff so i'll link their channel in the description box the night strata it's andrew and laura i'm really happy for them as well they've just hit 10k they're a really nice couple so go check them out i don't know about anyone else but like lockdown life is so boring so i don't know how people are like keeping up with like uploads but my come shop with me video should be up before this one but before that i hadn't uploaded for like over a week so i think people will understand that why i've not uploaded for so long with like not much to do like today is probably the most exciting day like going to be in m or the range and going for a walk any other day there's no point in vlogging because it's just me like i have a tidy in the house which some people like to say i suppose like when i do a spring clean i might actually film it i did promise actually as well what i eat in a week or what i eat in a day i'm not sure which one to do yet i feel like what i eat in a day isn't really a good example because it's like just what you eat on that day you're not going to eat that every day so i might do a what i eat in a week and just make it like quite a quick video i don't want it to be like prolonged like you just don't want to see me like cooking and eating food like the whole video and like i said i will do some like morning routines and like night routines and things like that but if you've got any other video ideas what you'd like to say then let me know in the comments i have had a couple of people say that they want to see me like do my makeup as well but i mean i'm not amazing at doing my makeup i do like to, i actually enjoy doing my makeup so i might film it but it's really hard when i did a video before where i was answering questions doing my makeup it's really hard to like multitask i can multitask like with anything but like doing your makeup and talking at the same time, it's like really hard work. But I'll try and like think of a, a good video idea where I'm doing my makeup and maybe my hair, like maybe curling like short hair tutorial. Well, not tutorial because I'm not showing you how to do it, but show you how I do it. But yeah, this was the first time I'd straightened it and I like how it like flicks under there. I feel like it's like a bit of a style. Like before when it was really long, it was just like straight and long and I feel like it was getting a bit boring. I don't really like the colour of my natural hair, but... I'm sort of getting used to it. I feel like it makes me look a lot older, which is probably not a good thing, but I'm liking that it's actually in a style. It's, I wanted to love, I wanted it a lot shorter, but my hairdresser knows how like, precious I am with my hair and she was like, ooh, are you sure? This is like a big decision for you. So she cut it short for me anyway, but I think it's a nice length and I think it grows quite quick. So anyway, the start of this video is just me like ranting on about a lot of crap that you probably don't want to know about. So 
I'll uh, wait for my brother and we'll go for a walk and I might film a bit of it. I've been sat in my coat 20 minutes now waiting for my brother. He said he'd be here for a half past 12. Well, he said he was going to go on his dinner break at half past 12. So I'll give him like 10 minutes to be able to get here. Because he only lives around the corner. So it's 10 to 1. He's like 20 minutes late now. So to be honest, I can't really say anything because I'm always late. Oh, he's just messaged me now. Won't be long, sorry. My brother finally turned up, even though he was a bit late. <laughs> is he spagging on me? <laughs> yeah, I said, oh, is anyone else's family here? Always late, but I can't talk. I'm always late, aren't I? I think my dad is the only one in our family that's actually early for things. Hey, it's been late, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, he's like sat in the car 10 minutes early, waiting for everyone. <laughs> he's like, I'm getting out in my coat. <laughs> that's what I was like, sat in the house. I was like, oh. But we didn't have the eating on it anyway, so. It's a real nice day, isn't it? Beautiful. <laughs> the sun's proper Beautiful out walk. and shining. Perfect for a walk. It, Monday and Tuesday was like pouring down with rain. It's the right difference today. Nice, nice for the weekend. I just got my brother to take some photos for me. Gary normally like, he doesn't hate it, but he's like, oh, really, you want a photo? But you started getting really embarrassed, didn't you? <laughs> we'll see well, yeah. how uh... I imagine somebody was looking out the window thinking, look at them noobs. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted a photo for my Instagram. We'll see how good your photography skills are. Oh, you sent me one of the uh, seven of them. We'll see how good they are. You were rushing because you were embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why I chose like an area where there was a big bush and no one could see, but then there was a house right opposite, probably people looking out the windows. <laughs> oh well, let's see him again. No, well, unless we do this walk again. <laughs> <laughs> My brother's just taught me something as well about our phone. Apparently, like your side button, if you click that twice, it opens your camera. But then I did it with my phone and I clicked it twice, it actually takes a photo. So if you need to like take a photo real quick, just like, well, I don't know if everyone's phone will do it. What, what phone you got? I've got a Huawei. Samsung. Oh, so it can probably happen to any phone. People probably already know this and I'm just being an amateur, but <laughs> I thought it was good to know. I get a little bit breathless. My thoughts are too big. I'm home from the walk. It was really nice. Like, I thought it was going to be like really cold. I thought, oh, when I looked out at the sun, I thought it looks like really sunny, but it's not going to be warm, but it was quite warm. But I did have a big fair coat on actually. Sorry about the rattling. I've been looking for some um, new bedding for our bed obviously. And I shared a few on Instagram but then I ended up buying one of them. I bought a real nice pink one so I thought I'd just show you which one I got. So you can't even see what it is. It just looks like that. I thought there was going to be like a picture on the front so you could like see the setup of it. But I'll insert a picture here of the one we got. And I'll link it in the description box if anyone wants to go and get it as well. I really like it. It's a really nice blush pink and it's quite plain. But like the frill on the outside just gives it like a real nice detail. So I can't wait to get that on. I'm gonna go do the pots now and wait for Gary to get home from work and then we're gonna to go to the range. The range is actually winning on my poll on Instagram for now, so I'll check that. I keep saying we're going to the range, we probably will end up going there anyway. So Gary's home, he's just been changed and we're gonna to go to the range. Hi, look for some bedside tables. Well, we have got a few essential things to get as well. We're not just going out for bedside no, tables. But I'm using that as an excuse to get my, <laughs> to get my bedside tables. So shall I drive, because you've been feeling a bit dizzy, haven't you? Yeah, I have today, yeah, yeah. So shall I drive then? Yeah, I know. Let's go. In again. Oh, you've got a manual again. What, do I hold the phone? Yeah, can't trust the driver in my car. It's an automatic car and she still manages to get it wrong. No, I normally drive this car really well. That wasn't the perfect time to turn on the camera. <laughs> Is it doing it now? It was seemed like it was revving. My knees are too high. I'm not going around because the car's too loud. My, my knees are too high, so I knock the paddle, like, like changed it from automatic to gears. You're making excuses now. Right. You, you, this guy, you can, doing it now. Do you know why your knees are high? Because you've got your Doc Martens on, which are all that thick. No, they're not. I ain't got the platform on. You've got your Doc Martens on? Yeah, but they're not. They're they, they had about 10 inches to your height. The, the reason, I've got long legs, and I like to be like 90 degree angle when I'm yeah. driving. You, you look. Yeah, I'm not going to hear you. What? On the steering wheel? Yeah, listen to the steering wheel. You drive with your legs like you laid down I'm having a nap. <laughs> I actually drive like a normal person. Would anyone else's husbands let their partner drive their Jag? I don't know. <laughs> Not everyone's got a Jag. Do yeah, but their car oh, in general. Oh, their car in general. Then. <laughs> but I'm a good driver, so that's why you trust me. You can't get it wrong. You can't really get it wrong. It's accelerator and brake. <laughs> Until you need it. Uh, 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 yeah. Oh, this was my route to work, wasn't it? When I actually had a job. <laughs> so the poll on my Instagram, it was 52% over 48. So the range won anyway. And that's where I wanted to go. So yeah. that was a good job. I've just been editing my uh, Come Shop On Me at the Range video and uploading that. Gary's just watching it. I like to get him to like pre-watch it before I upload it. Just so there isn't anything that I've missed. So I'm just doing this to Thai Green Curry Kit. We're in a rush as well because Gary's doing like a Zoom quiz with his friends in like under an hour. So I've got to do this, eat it, and then he's doing the quiz. But he's, he's doing it on my laptop. So the rush was the fact that I wanted to get my Range video uploaded before he went on Zoom. 
So it's just this Thai green curry cake. I just need to mix in the paste and a bit of the coconut milk together and then that goes in with the chicken. Don't look very appetizing, does it? I got all the coconut milk everywhere as well when I opened it. <laughs> the chicken's just cooking there and I've got the water on boil for the rice. I've just realised I've got some of this in, so to save time I'm going to do this instead of normal rice. Thoughts are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? I guess I should have been honest. A break to my heart. It's raining down, baby. That curry was so nice. In the end, I ended up eating it all. There was um, we defrosted two chicken breasts, but there was like tiny. Like when they were cut it up, it didn't look like much in the pan. So I ended up eating it all, and I'm so full. Gary ended up having a pizza, which is what he wanted anyway. He doesn't really like Thai green curry, so he was happy at that. He's doing his uh, Zoom quiz with his friends now. I'm just choosing a bath bomb to have a nice bubble bath. I went for my purple bath bomb in the end because I've got the uh, lavender bath salts, a lavender face mask, and then this purple dose. So I thought to go with the aesthetic, all purple. So. Yeah, I'm weird like that, but look how glittery it is. It's gonna make the water so nice and glittery. I'm gonna go choose some PJs and I'm gonna jump in. here because i'm gonna go chill out in the bath i really hope you liked this daily vlog if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already i'd love it if you did if you're new to my channel then i'd love it if you checked out my other videos as well thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye